Inside this black case is a hidden masterpiece, a treasure, a genuine Picasso painting. Underneath this newspaper is the Picasso. Is the Picasso. And here's the work of art. So Pablo Picasso had his hands on this thing. Yes, he did. How this Picasso came into Carl Sabatino's possession is quite a story. It starts in World War II when Carl's uncle bought the piece for, get this, about 30 bucks in London. In the ensuing decades, his aunt kept the painting safe and secure in, of all places, her Singer sewing machine. Before she passed away, she told Carl to check under her sewing machine, and that's just what he did. When I shifted the sewing machine, okay, it fell out just like that. Just like that. Art experts point out that a Picasso that looks just like this one hangs to this day at the Cleveland Museum. Sabatino believes Picasso duplicated the artwork to test out a new painting process he was experimenting with. After mountains of research, Carl took the painting to art appraiser Richard Beaulieu, who looked at all the paperwork. You know, the time period that it came out of, all the paperwork that came with it, uh, the provenance on it, the signature examples, the forensics report, I really am convinced it's the real deal. So is it really a Picasso? Check this out, a fingerprint on the painting. Right here oh and right here. We'll know soon whether it matches the great artist, which would send the price tag through the roof. You believe it will sell for how much? It may go as high as uh, 25 to 30 million. <laughs>